so now we'll try to understand how to convert uh, any CFG, any context diagram into Chomsky normal form. So you, you can so like for different languages, we can have different set of rules coming in uh, uh, for in the context free grammar of that language. But eventually to standardize these rules, so we have a form called as Chomsky normal form for which, uh, which by following which we can get all the rules in the production into a, some standard form. So there are three requirements for three criteria that has been set uh, to convert any CFG into a Chomsky normal form. One is that a non-terminal state should generate two non-terminal states, right? So, for example, uh, if we have a non-terminal state A, it should be uh, it should be generating B or C. That are again two non-terminal states. Or A can generate uh, a non-terminal state generating a terminal state. So, the uh, any rule in a particular CFG has to follow at least uh, uh, one of these particular criteria that has been mentioned, or S followed by an epsilon. So, S is the start symbol of the language that is followed by an epsilon giving us null production that means there is nothing in the language so if any of the rules uh, like if, uh, if the rules if any rule in a cfg follows any of the th above three points that particular rule uh, is in the chomsky normal form and if it is not we need to convert that particular rule in a chomsky normal form for example if we have a rule like this a generating a b or c where a b c are non terminal so if you look at that uh, it is not uh, it is not going uh, in line with any of the three rules so what we can do is that we can bring this particular rule into Chomsky normal form by doing A generating A uh, pipe X and X, gener uh, X generating B pipe X. So you can see how we have uh, factorized this particular rule into two rules now. So eventually to bring this uh, any CFG into Chomsky normal form, we need to follow up these three criteria.